Hey guys, since I really can do the uh, the it, the whole event with negative, I mean not negative, with Raph and uh, Mock Off Bugsy, I thought I'd tell you a little bit of the end because like it was gonna technically end like the Killing Joke. Okay. After a long, long, long battle, where, where you weren't even sure who was going to win, the two Bugsy stop. Bugsy stops. It says, Wrath, we don't have to keep killing each other like this, you know. We don't have to kill each other, man. I can help you. I mean, yeah, my life is pretty. My life is pretty shitty too. I make the best of it. <sighs> it's too late for me. I've, I'm afraid. <laughs> kind of reminds me of a joke. These two. These two. These two dudes. These two dudes try to bust out of prison, and they, like. They got put into prison, and they didn't like it. So, so they decide later on. They decide later on they bust out of prison. But the only way to get out is they have to walk across these beams to freedom. Other dude jumps. The other dude jumps. Jumps and makes it, makes it through okay. He bounces himself in the beams, makes it through. And the other dude, he's scared because the beams are up on these. Uh, the beams are like, like it's a really long dr drop down below. So the dude's like, hey, I got this flashlight. I can shot. I can shine it across to help you. Get I can shine it. Where you are, so you can get across. And he looks at him and says, "What are you nuts? You're just gonna sh you're gonna shine it and then stop when I'm halfway through and I'm gonna fall." Bugsy laughs. Bugsy laughs. Raph laughs. They Raph they laugh for a good, I'd say, twenty minutes. Then the laughter abruptly ends like I was gonna leave it ambiguous but now I know that the killing joke was a lie <laughs> no like seriously I am really 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 I am so really like like really surprised by that. I am not fucking kidding you guys. Batman killed the Joker. I heard from Grant Morrison himself. Oh my sweet Jesus. Oh god. Um uh, let me uh, let me uh but uh guys while I'm sitting here, uh my friend Zachary Bridges, you guys may know him as Zachary Bragg. You guys may know him as uh, the leader of City United, which I am a part of, sort of. Oh my god, guys. Zachary made this, and he's like, he made this, and he joined the resistance. Yeah, but again, my thing is kind of ambiguous because, you know, out of, every, out of all the villains he has killed, he could like, the reason Raph always kept coming back, um, story after story after story I've ever written, I never really showed anybody all of them, but he always has the tendency of coming back. Because, either, mostly because Mako Fugsy never really has it in him to kill him, because that's like killing himself, in a sense. But, yeah probably say with everything he's been through in uh, this version of their little fight he's pretty willing and able to kill him but at the same time he I don't know if he would but you know so that's why I left that in big choice 
see here it is project Pro Sonic project Sonic 2 2017 join the resistance oh god guys like I really I support this all the way guys Because it may not have the Freedom Fighters, but if it has the elements that say I am, I'm I'm down with this. I am so down with this. No, but like really, guys, I'm like, holy shit! Oh, what the? F oh shit, Benza. And that was playing Night Trap. Not even that Night Trap. Freaking Phantasmagoria. God dang. But, uh. Sega Radio. Eh. Cool for you, Sega Scourge. I wish I could. I wish I could be on Sega Radio. That'd be cool. But, anyways. Um. Hmm. Star Screen. I I believe this was my incarnate my incarnation star screen at <laughs> my inca my incarnation as star screen in the Michael Bay trilogy. What a great ride. Try out the rocks. Like honestly he really does. I don't mean to be gushing over the guy, but Jesus Even did count chicken, anyways. I wanted to show you this because Grant Morrison actually basically says, "Yeah, Joker, but yeah, Batman basically kills Joker." I, like, guys, I my mind literally, literally blew up after seeing after hearing that concept because I'm like, "Oh my god!" Uh, another video that one. When it, when you do Batman mainstream to the people comic, you say Batman mainstream uh, or Batman comics to the mainstream people, they'll pull like oh Dark Knight Returns or Arkham Asylum or Killing Joke. Killing Joke, oh Killing Joke's good, and I kind of like Killing Joke. We talked about this. No one gets the end because Batman kills the Joker. No, all right, we didn't talk about right. this. Okay, no, I, I it kind of though. I gotta be, I gotta be honest though. It kind of just kind of kills the whole, the whole bit of the story though, because it's like, you know, it's like by the book, Batman. By the, we gotta do this by the book. You know, because Commissioner Burton basically says the Batman in both the animated version and the freaking comic book. You know, Batman, we gotta do this by the book. We gotta show him our way works. But I wonder. Because, yeah, the elements of the Killing Joke are still implemented in DC today. So I still wonder to myself, what would have happened if what would have happened if they would have continued after Batman killed the Joker? Would Batman turn? Would Batman turn himself in because he killed the Joker? He would literally be in Arkham Asylum after that, or would he go to Blackgate? Hmm. <laughs> I'm reading this to one of himself and one of his jokes. He was successful in that this joke could very well be the point that the Joker wanted to prove from the beginning. Batman laughing at the joke and the joke is Joker's way Joker having his way and Batman finally admitting at least in part that the Joker's point is valid and 
they connected for a short moment, almost like best friends generally understanding each other. That makes sense too. Joker was taking it to the limit to to the limit because he knew this would bring an end. Actually that is per who are you? Michael Michael Lolo? Michael Lolo. Well God dang God dang man. Nah, the ending pretty much says, yeah, Batman killed the Joker, but I was like, no, and the comic book is more ambiguous. <sighs> oh my god, guys, but the, like... Batman kills the Joker. That's why it's called the Killing Joke. The Joker tells the Killing Joke at the end. Batman reaches out and breaks his neck, and that's why the laughter stops and then the light goes out because that was the last chance at crossing that bridge. And Alan Moore wrote the ultimate Batman Joker story. He finished it. Fuck it. out of here. Yeah, but he did it in such a way that it's ambiguous. So like, I was just looking around for a thumbnail for my uh, freaking it's review, good. and I found this, and I was like. Oh my god! You guys don't know how I fucking feel about this. It changes how I feel about the story entirely. Like, Batman really gives in to what he tried to fight for so long. He fucking kills, but he fucking kills the Joker. Do you god, understand? I I can't even believe I don't that shit. I want to hurt you. I don't want either of us to end up killing the other. But we're both running out of alternatives. And we both know it. Maybe it all hinges on tonight. Maybe this is our last chance to sort out this bloody mess. If you don't take it, then we're locked out to a suicide course. Both of us to the death. It doesn't have to end like that. I don't know what it was that made your life out of shape, but who knows? Maybe I've been there too. Maybe I can help. We could work together. I could rehabilitate you. But I gotta say, Kevin Conroy laughing at Batman was the most unsettling shit in the in the in the animated adaptation of the movie. I was like, okay, this is I usually hear Batman laugh. Like, at all. Like, not this Batman. Not, not my Batman. Hell no. You wouldn't be out there on the edge anymore. You wouldn't be alone. We don't have to kill each other. What do you say? He's like, no, it's fine. No, honey. I'm sorry. It's far too no, it's far too, too late for that. Far too late for that. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like I'm gonna bring it to the ending. You see. <laughs> second the second guy, he just shakes his head. <laughs> and said that shit it makes sense <laughs> because the last two got the last two battles don't have any like you know little onomatopoeia showing that they're still laughing oh my god though like seriously oh my god it, it, 
it's not like it's gonna change my opinion of Batman because they don't go that angle. Thank God. <laughs> and you know, I got pissed when Batman. I was a little pissed when Batman was killing people and freaking and freaking Batman versus Superman. But holy shit! <laughs> holy shit! It kind of changes how I feel about the actual. It kind of it kind of makes me feel it kind of. It kind of changes what I feel about the actual freaking story of the Killing Joke now. You know, like, like I still like it, but shit, Batman fucking kills the Joker, guys. He literally does. And you know, I always say like, we will never, we would never know the ending because we don't know what the writer intended. But Grant Morrison said, yeah, Joker, yeah, Batman kills the Joker. And I'm like. Like, guys, I'm, like, seriously, I'm still shocked. Literally fucking shocked right now. I went... Because I didn't read The Killing Joke like everybody else did. I went, like, four years. Four years, exactly! Without knowing this crucial fact. Now, you guys literally got to sit, you guys literally, you guys literally just tell me, like, I know it probably wouldn't have changed anything, I mean, cause they wouldn't have went with it anyway, but like, god dang. Okay, let's read what this dude has to say. The final in the Joker's in the Joker in the final scene, physically and psychologically physically and psychologically defeat. He kneels on the ground listening to Batman's offer of rehabilitation in one beat panel appearing to to appearing to seriously consider it before sadly saying it's too late for that. Suggesting su suggesting that there's a grain of sanity and humanity in there somewhere, albeit not enough to make not enough to make a difference. Thus the the work shows the Joker at his single most sympathetic and hum and humane. Yeah! Oh my god, I thought I was the only one that thought that! <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, I'm totally gonna, I'm totally like gonna go now. Because I gotta get, I gotta, I'm gonna be like doing some stuff. Uh, I'm sorry I had to tell you like the ending of my little event, but uh, you know, I I've been doing a lot of stuff and I didn't have enough time to just, I I really didn't have enough time last month and this month to actually just do this, do that story. But yeah, yeah, it was gonna kind of, it, it was kind of my send up to Rav because you weren't gonna see him for a while. It. You know, because if my ending was actually going to be ambiguous, but he actually, like, literally, because the, because the laughter stops with them, like in The Killing Joke, but it's because literally, literally, and I wasn't going to say this in the actual ending when I actually was working on it, I was actually going to see if any of you figured it out, but like,
like, he, like, Markov Bugsy does let Raph go, but he tells him this. He's like, you got, you seriously? After all of this, you have to get out of here. Go under by a different name. You know, try and atone for what you, what you've done. So leave. Leave. I hope I never see you again. And, you know, Raph doesn't say anything to mock off Bugsy. He just he goes. And yeah, you don't see him again for a very long time. Well, until the multiverse war, which is like, what? Three, three to four years after this? After my little story, yeah, I kind of wanted a little bit of a time gap. I mean, there's always been a time gap in teenage stories, so I just thought, eh, let me do some of that. <sighs> but like, yeah, guys, I'll see you later. But shit, <laughs> Grant Morrison basically says, yeah, Joker gets killed. Bye, Batman. But yeah, there's another moment in the Killing Joke where Joker was sympathetic. The whole, why aren't, like this right here where he's going like, why aren't you laughing? Because he really didn't want to prove his point. He, I think it's not only because he wanted to prove that he can make anybody go insane, but he really wanted to make Batman laugh. That was one of his other major goals. Making Batman laugh. You know, and he kind of finally did. And when I think about it, what would be the better way for him to go out than actually making Batman laugh before he gets killed? What would be a better way? That's, that's like Joker's perfect way to go out. Like, he actually made the one person he could never make laugh finally laugh. And I'm not trying to say the Joker's a sympathetic being. Hell no. He raped her recording in this very story. Joker's still a fucking monster, but at the same time... At the same time, it's what he always... This... Making Batman laugh is what truly what he always wanted to do. Either kill him or make him laugh. That's what he wanted to do. And trust me, I feel happy that I actually got to really seriously, even though I made a few jokes about Barbara Gordon 1, Batman, Bad, Bad Dick, and yeah, I made a joke about that. I made several, and I have a few more. Do, 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 do the bad family's incestuous. <laughs> it's, 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 it's the best put Batgirl to the test. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, and I don't, I, I want to really say this. Um, Kevin Conroy, Mark Hamill, and freaking Tara Strong, they did freaking awesomely in this movie. Even Tara Strong, even though she's playing kind of an elder character Batgirl. I just think, when I really think about it, I think this, the sex scene was just basically letting the letting some of the older, like, letting some of the animators kind of indulge a little bit of their fantasies, and that was basically it. But, uh, yeah. I think I'm done here. See you guys later, and, and, do, and do be careful. And do be careful. Because you... Because, yes, the world may be... The world may truly be... Life in the world may truly be a black and monstrous joke. But it's all about... How... How hard you, t how hard and how seriously you take the joke. I'll leave you with that. 
give you a little something to think about.